bowlers capable of rattling Australia's Shane Bond. Shane Bond, who was recently recruited by the England and Wales Cricket Board, ECB, to work with the national team during the upcoming Ashes series against traditional foes, Australia, believes that the James Anderson-led bowling attack is capable enough to rattle the fragile Australian batting unit. The former New Zealand pace ace was signed up on the insistence of head coach, Trevor Bayliss, with the England coach desperate to turn around his team's dwindling fortunes down under. England clinched the 2010-11 Ashes after beating the hosts by a 3-1 margin but were then hammered by a massive 5-0 margin during the 2013-14 season. Bond had recently signed a two-year contract extension with Big Bash franchise, Brisbane Heat, where he already serves as the bowling coach and will now have to juggle both responsibilities. However, the former New Zealand pacer seemed thrilled with his new role and firmly feels that England have the resources to test a batting lineup that has had its fair share of problems over the past couple of years. It was completely out of the blue, Bond said on Wednesday, October 25th of the Bayless phone call. I've been an Ashes fan for a long time. I'm very aware of the rivalry but to be a Kiwi and then get the invite to be part of the series, I was always going to jump at it. So I'm really looking forward to being part of the setup. Bond himself has sweet memories of playing in Australia, having first made his international debut in the country in 2001-02. Having spent the last couple of years with Brisbane Heat, Bond has more or less accustomed himself to the conditions. There's a whole range of factors, being over here for the last couple of years, I've played a bit here, I've got, experience with the Kookaburra ball, he said. Also I've got a couple of pretty handy campaigners in the England team who I'm getting the opportunity to work with. So I've been in touch with those guys and I'm really looking forward to getting over to Perth, this weekend and getting stuck into what is a nice lead-in time to the first test match, Bond added.